Ecclesiastes 10 10. Ecclesiastes 10 10. Ecclesiastes 10 10. If the iron be blunt and he do not wear the edge, then must he put to more strength. But wisdom is what? Profitable to direct. NKJV. If the ass is dull and one does not sharpen the edge, upgrade your brain. Then he must use more strength, but wisdom brings success. Is it, then he must use more strength. That is, even that strength does not bring success. Message translation. MSG. Read it for yourself. One to go. Remember, the dollar, the ass, the harder the work. Use your head. The more brains, the less muscle. Animals. Rich men walk with brain. Poor men walk only with hands. You hear what I said? Only. I'm not saying rich men don't walk with hands. But they use more of their brain. The Bible says the, 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 the righteous, he said the wise man's heart is by his right hand. The wise man's heart is by his right hand. You know why by his right hand? Frequent use. Frequent use. Frequent use. Frequent. That's what he said. His heart is by his right hand. So he's always thinking. Why do you think the Bible says, This book of the law shall not depart from thee? Thou shalt meditate on it therein and night. So you, you shall meditate on it therein and night. They say, By it you will make your ways prosperous. I prophesy to you. Any wisdom you require for the next level of your life, receive in the name of Jesus Christ. When a house girl operates with wisdom, it can become madam. Not madam in a bad way. Madam will depend on her. Madam will ask her. Madam will be relating with her like a colleague. In the office, there's a level of brain you carry. Your boss will be relating with you like you be mates. Why do you always quarrel with you? It's because your brain never upgrade. That's why you cannot observe well. What, when they keep something here, you've been there for too long. You don't know this where they keep it. When they ask you to keep, you keep it. You are in a church. They say, everybody, bring your two hands. Let's touch. As God directed. Well, everybody's bringing two hands. Once you come. Around. <laughs> and I was thinking, make a tanaka. Ah, boy. He said, when the brain is not at work, you will labor much. I told them in first service, this is the difference between GM and GM. Every GM is not the same. GM that is at the gate, that's gate man, uses his hand. GM in the office, cooling with air conditioner, uses his brain. Wisdom is wisdom in any nation. Foolishness is foolishness in any nation. A fool in America can be hungry in America. The capital of your life is here. Now next Sunday. Now next Sunday for that one. See ya. Without with supernatural wisdom the other day. Can I tell you something? 
Today is natural wisdom. As simple as it is, if you don't have it, you are stranded. Then the question is, what is wisdom? Wisdom is acquisition of facts. No, wisdom. No, knowledge is acquisition of relevant facts. Relevant information. Then wisdom is application of the same. So you acquire the information. You use it. When you don't use it, because that you know it, you are at the same level with a fool. Because a fool is suffering because he doesn't know. You that know, you are not using it. The same level. The same result. He doesn't have, you don't have. Wisdom, as I said, will control even the way you dress. There are places you are entering, you know that you don't need to dress like a... I carry one photographer. I carry one camera guy from Omoa to one state. And we're in their government house, which is excellent. Why we're going, I said, dress well. I said, because... They didn't ask me to come for prayer. I've been praying for them. They said I should come and chop. They won't bless me. So dress well. I said, that's not where we're going there. I warn all of them. It, it, it just, anyhow, as we were approaching, they were like, I don't know what happened. We already said everybody entered. One DSSS came to me. I said, excuse me, sir. Just to tell you, there's one of your, one of the boys that came with you. Uh, the way he dressed, he cannot be before his excellence. So I kept him outside. When you people need him, just signal me. I'll bring him to snap you. I say, we don't need him. <laughs> no, he, you know what? He didn't use brain. I gave him the information. He didn't use it. Everyone that went with me, that dress well, they entered. Love Day, Love Day has gone with me severally in different operations like that. If you see him, you can't tell him wait. No, you can't tell him. You know whether I'm a media man from channels. He can carry wrong information about your government house. So they just give him his way. They chop when we are chopping. It's so that they have to give me my food before they take the down. You see, you see, you see the thing. They blocked his as far as went. The way he dressed. Just, uh. And you know that it starts like when you are coming to Bible study. Say, oh, come baby. You see a pastor is going to Bible study. The pastor is wearing slip on. So, there's a separate pulpit from. Because in his mind, he has reduced the service. And the same way you carry it, others, because such as you have. So nobody takes it serious. So he even, he, even the preacher needs to upgrade. One day I wore 1,005. I finished preaching. I asked somebody, listen to the message. The person told me, say, I saw this message. I thought, I said, ah, it, I didn't know it was the way it was because that the 81,005. I said, who could be that church or the, that world fish? Or is it a small one? Uh -huh. If there's anywhere else you've been dressed well, it should be world fish. Yes, they want to give you job. Wisdom will not tell you how to dress. One, one man called me and said, can you imagine? My wife drove somebody who came to, who, who I want to, to give job to do something for her. My wife drove highway. The wife, big man. The wife said, how did that get dressed when she was coming here? She knew she was coming to the house of a married man. And she dressed like that. He said, if she comes here ten times, I will drive her. And then the woman now added, you know, the woman now added, he said, I don't even want her to do this work again. You were going to look for that kind of job. Contract. M. M. Instead of you to dress well, you dress like you are going to party. Hey. 
So the woman said, you want to collect the job and collect my husband? I don't want you anymore. She, can I tell you something? She may have been in a service, Pastor Saint, where that kind thing was preached. Like this one. Like this one. But she took it for granted. When I finish that, we get into a workforce training. There's one of my daughter. I think I mentioned when Pastor P was here in Abakaleke. I saw her. She wasn't even speaking like one who was speaking like Fone and all that. I don't know what moved me. I said, go and join broadcast. Her name is Miracle. She joined broadcast and they said it, it, the first time it was so difficult for her. I said, but there, Pastor P then put it. She started training, talking, talking. Before you know it, she perfected a new radio station came. She didn't study that. A new radio station came. In her back. I don't even think she has finished her school. A new radio station came. Can I tell you something? She went for the interview. When they heard her, they thought she had been working in a radio station. They employed her. I'm told you also go to one radio station, right? Do you work there? Contract. Why? Because you are speaking, you learn speaking from church, right? Do you know, I, I go to a village to preach because I preach everywhere. I preach everywhere. Once my honor is there, I go there. V the village. Oh. If you meet me, you won't believe I can speak English. I speak Igbo fluently. Igbo. Fluently. I don't need interpreter. If you jump me in crusade, you will think I live among them in the village. You can't go there and be speaking, oh, oh, no, you don't do that. It's called common sense. That wisdom, yes, sir. Eh, yes, sir. using information mm. that is available. Mm. So if you have the information that you, 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 are, you, 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 you have to be, come to their level to minister to them, and you go there to blue grammar, you have the information, but you're not using it. So a man may have information and still be a fool. That's true, sir. What is the message of prayer doing for with, with you when you can pray? They've taught you to be happy, to be happy, to rejoice. Don't be worried. You continue to be worried until the day you die. And they say God is not good. I wish you know that the church has matured more than that. That if you die, we attend your burial. It rises on top. Be alive. They don't want people for too long. Be alive. You are not using it. Because you think it's a joke. Come on, sir. Now, what is wisdom? Wisdom is paying attention. To experience. Judgment. <laughs> wisdom. Is the quality. Of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. That is the quality of being wise. Having experience, having knowledge, and good judgment. Now watch this. The first word I mentioned there, experience. Pastor, if it's experience, it means you Leverage on people's experience. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Experience is the best teacher. It's not correct. It's also correct. Experience is a good teacher. Take, take note of this. It's not correct. It's also correct. It's not correct if it's your own experience. Because you may die before you learn. If you need to experience that a car can kill, and you need to join, let the car knock you down, you may not be alive to learn from the experience. You may be with Father Abraham learning. If you need to experience acid, whether it can kill, you will die. You'll be the other side, but you have learned. The best, uh, when it's a good teacher is when it's other people's experience. Learn from their own experience. Apply it in your own heart. Now when I say as they take handle you, you went to one, one ceremony, I say as they take handle you, me I go pass, I say, I know, they, I, know I just they pass. If I see as they take handle, they have an innocent. With his size of belly. Is it this my small one? Yes. That they will not handle. I will just pass and greet them. With all this balance brought forward. Would I not respect them? This my own that is still river that is flowing. Then I need to move. You, you, you learn. Yes, sir. From other people's experience. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The man used to pray. Three, four hours every day. And you are seeing the effect of it in his ministry. Learn from it. Yes, the man is in your line. He repackaged his shop. And you are seeing the effect of it. Learn from it. They say wise people hear others. Learn from others. That's what makes you wise. Learn from them. And then if you must learn from them, you must sit down. So what the key word there is teaching. You must sit down. Nobody can amount to anything, Pastor said, until they sit down. You see all these people who are carved out. Watch them. You must sit down. If you are learning trade, you sit down. If you come to the employee in office, you, you enter there, you have to sit down. Are you a businessman? You have to sit down. Are you in school? Sit down. Those who don't sit down, they don't sit in their throne of destiny. But remember all those people, when they are learning in class, they are the ones walking about up and down. You know where some of them are? There are some of them who, when they see you driving, they change their voice. And you see what you see. Authority carry power. And you see, come mesa. Mesa. Show me love. Well, I say, show me love. I say, I love you. It's only, only show your brother tired. A brother sir. You see, I wait, sir. Only she can mess up. And mess up them not to You know why the Bible said the poor will always be with us? Because there are people who will not sit down to lay. Someone sit in a school for six, seven years and they call him or her doctor. Someone sits down in a place for some years. They say you can fly aeroplane. Someone sits down somewhere. They can trust that person with human body to cut it open, knock the person off, a human being that is alive, knock the person off with full anesthesia. And they believe the person will come back. He may have had a wrong. Go and buy. Why are you going to hospital paying consultation fee? You are paying for the years this man sat down to learn. Why are they paying? So if you want to learn from people's experience, sit with them. Go close. Be intentional about it. And social media has made it simpler for everybody. Stop using your data for gossip. You know what tries on social media? Gossip. You are talking something where no gay head. Matter where no concern you. You go there. 
Nathan comment. Anything you go and anything. Your daughter. Meanwhile, people are learning, doing online training. People are studying. People are going through upgrade in their on their social media with social media. Learning. Last week, because this is a new week, my mom was doing online training. One of the day, two days, she did from morning to night. From morning to night. On Wednesday during Bible study, she called me. That she wants to take permission from me that she will come to Bible study late. I said, I be one girl. I said, come in late. Yeah, you know, I be one girl late. All day I like too late. I just go. I told me me preach in that ribata. When the janja robu ribam, I be preaching. You have good look yourself. You will know, but she understand. Once you know, is it too late? Don't don't show up. Stay where the same way. Join us online. Do you understand? She sat in one place for two years plus that she was not in this church. She sat in one place. At the time, her leg from, listen here, from here, here, fine, but from here down, ugly, because he goes swear. When I look at him, I say, I, I don't think I paid for that side. Now from here, I pay how much? I don't pay that side. Do you understand? But someone will have to pay the price. Sit down for two years plus. You will read your leg will swell, your leg will dry, your leg will swell, your leg will dry. You know what is happening? She's separating herself from the rest. That city is separating from those who cannot sit. He says, as we're in this church, when we do word feast, you see some people sit. There's separation going on. You may not sit now, but after a while, you see it. It will show. It will show. I don't know what you do, but go and pay attention to find out where you will sit to learn more. If you learn more, you earn more. If you learn more, you earn more. I say one more time. If you learn more, you earn more. Legs swollen, but she has achieved that. You know one thing I notice? Ignorance will always betray you, no matter how packaged you are. No matter how... If they give you money now, package you. Once there's an area that you are ignorant of, when you reach that side, you will you will disgrace yourself. They say when there was war in the north between Christians and Muslims. One Muslim strolling into war, no good. And I'm so shaming. It's no good. I condemn it. Okay. But one Muslim mistakenly entered where Christians were. And he said, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. They said, Our Father, our Father in heaven. So they wanted him to complete it. He said, Our Mother. Our father in heaven is our mother in heaven. <laughs> because he believed. In fact, the way they say it, the way they say it, the guy said it, he said, Zavad, Zamoda. You know the way they say it? Our father, Zamoda. <laughs> Do you understand? Because in his mind, once there is a father, there must be a mother. <laughs> In the Bible, it happened. So they wanted some people, enemies, to say something. Huh? Sibolet. Some will say sibolet. So the way you say it, they know if you know. And that determines if you will live or die. To know and act is to live. So sit down with some people. This time matter. 
Oh, nous sommes continués dans la tête. Continuez dans le cadavre. Continue. Professeur, les couillons. They have given me time zone. If you find it difficult to see that, you will find it difficult to achieve success. No matter where you are now, there are people better than you in that your field. Sit with them. Just sit with them. Honor them to a level that they allow you to sit with them. There are men just sitting with them and eating is enough. Just sit. Just sit and watch them. There are men, eh? Just that you are chatting with them is enough. That you send them messages, they reply, is enough. There are men that they allow you in their presence is enough. I don't joke with it. Is enough. You don't play with it. Is enough. Just connect well. Between you and there is one man with experience better than you. Jesus met with Paul. He said, there's a man called Ananias. He's been in this faith before you. Meet him. He will tell you what to do. Jesus, even me, I can't tell you. Meet him, he will tell you. There are people you must sit with consciously in this church work where God called me. It's enough to is is one thing to be called. It's another thing to do it well. So there must be a sitting down. Engineer, I'm not I'm talking about engineers in the house. Sit down. Doctors sit down. For a medical doctor to become a consultant, must be taught by other consultants and professors. And after a while, they will set an exam for him. It's not be spirit, they set down. Not be spirit. God, no, they set an exam. What you are looking for, he has given to man. And he will not give you again. If you like it, go to the man. He has given to man. Can I even shock you? Nothing is living heaven as it were now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything you need is already in the earth realm. But with men. With men. When he gave to Moses, he didn't give again to Joshua. He only said, Moses, give to Joshua. When he gave to Moses, he didn't give to 70 elders. He said, I will take some measures of what you carry and distribute on 70 and you still be carrying. That elder that made that in the camp, they still received and he was still loaded. What? He had given to Elijah. He didn't give to Elisha. Elisha collected the one he gave to Elijah. When Elisha took it to the grave, what living man could, because Gehazi couldn't see it, he was in a hurry to get. So because he couldn't see it, he missed that. Then when a man died, they mistakenly threw the man inside the grave of Elisha. And the dry bone, what the dry bone brought him back to life. So that is to say that dead bone with the thing is better than living men without it. Get the thing.